client side versus server side. When it comes to working with the GTA Network API, there are several things to take into account when working on your first script. How much of my script does my server actually need to use? Does everyone need to see what I'm making? Is it only the player who sees the changes? Does everyone need to see the changes? Should I be handling these values locally or on the server side to prevent cheaters? There are so many questions to ask when you're writing a script, but let's just try to break it down so that this short presentation will cover whatever you need to know to make writing your first script a little bit easier. Let's start with the definition of the two, or maybe my definition at the very least. When you write a script server side, only the server can handle that data. When you write a script client side, the player's game handles that data. Not to mention it can also be manipulated. So then the question is, what is right for my script? Well, maybe you should ask, does my script handle valuable information? Or does my script need everyone to see this information? These are questions that always need to be asked when you start writing your script. So let's take a new example writing a script to manage money. Taking into a real life example, only you want to be able to handle your own money, but we also don't want the player to manipulate that money in any way, so no counterfeiting. So we should write this script on the server side, because these are server side values that the player should be able to see, but not be able to manipulate. Maybe your next script has to do with previewing car colors before accepting changes. Instead of tossing the load onto the server, write it locally. That way only the player can see what color he wants. And when he finishes, you can send that data up from the local side to the server side, do a few data verification checks, and then send them on their way. Whereas writing a car color script on the server side where they loop through tons of colors is going to bog down the server for e each change. Especially since it has to be sent to everyone in the entire server every time that car color changes. Why send the information tons of times when you could send the right information once? So try to break down your scripts into a few categories. Only the player needs to see this. Examples would be like blips, markers, text labels, text draws, sprites. And this would be more like going from server side to the local side. And then maybe something like everyone needs to see this right away. So this would be strictly server side. So something like vehicle positioning, entities attached to things, objects attached to things, text labels for everyone, markers for everyone. And then things like, uh, everyone needs to see this eventually. So that would be more of a local to server side. So examples would be like car colors, clothing, faces, skins, car modifications, um, positioning a custom entity that's attached to you. Just general, anything that has to do with customization would probably be better off as a local, uh, a local right than a server right. Uh, the list can go on and on and but just try to keep what I've said in mind while you're writing. But in those regards, I hope this does help some of you out there because it took me a while to figure out some of this stuff. But thanks for watching.